Are you ready for change? And I mean true change. Health, career, business, whatever it may be. Are you willing to take the steps necessary for this change to take hold, for it to be successful for years to come? I ask because I've experienced many things in recent years when it comes to all three areas I mentioned, health, personal life in general, careers, individual careers, and overall business strategy, success, and growth, where everybody says how they want this change, how they want to be better, how they want to be healthier, how they want to be more successful, more relevant, how they want to grow the brand of their business. And then when you come in and share what needs to be done, or when somebody else comes in and shares what needs to be done, way too many organizations and way too many individuals stop, start backing up and say, perhaps change or that level of change is a bit too much for us at this time. And there's no right or wrong answer. The future will prove whether the answer and decisions you take and make today was the right one. If you are, like most of us, a creature of habit, and you're comfortable with running your business the same way you ran it for 20 or 30 years, and then all of a sudden, five years from now or seven years from now, you're out of business, well, clearly that decision was a wrong one. But it's really important to be mindful of the environment we live in, of the year we live in, and the next three to five years that are coming, whether we like them or not. Same thing it comes for to basic fundamental things of health, right? Eat less, throw garbage out, sweets, and all these things that you know some of us like to eat, um, and move more. I know there are other things that are limiting certain people from getting where they need to be, but overall, for ninety percent of us, that's what it is, right? Intake less, greater output, more movement, more activity, more sports, more walking, more running, more jogging, more whatever and less food, less food at night, less sweets, less sugar, less carbonated drinks. And all of a sudden in three, four, six months, you're gonna see a difference. Same thing comes to careers and business. You can't expect that what, you got, what got you here is gonna be the exact same thing that's gonna get you to the next place over the next five years. You need to be able to become comfortable with taking risks, challenging status quo, getting off the couch or out of your corner office, and embracing new opportunities. If you really want change, as you claim, then you need to put your money where your mouth is, so to speak, and empower people around you who are capable of leading and contributing to this change and growth of your business. And then you yourself obviously need to make certain adjustments and changes to grow as an individual in your own career, in your own professional life. So ask yourself, is it just the hype of a new year? Or are you really, truly, honestly ready for that change finally? Because a year from now, we'll be in 2021, and we're all going to look and say, where did 2020 go? Well, it's just starting. It just started. We're on day two. So ask yourself these questions, and then plan out what are the steps and actions you must take in order to be successful and reap the benefits of that work, of those sacrifices, of those priorities, whether they're health, individual careers, or overall business growth and success. You cannot please everyone at all times. You cannot be everything to all people at all times. Otherwise, um, you're gonna be in a bad place in not many years from now. So focus on what needs to be done, I'm not saying be selfish, but be self-aware, whether it's personal health, individual careers, or your business growth and success as a whole, make the changes you know you need to make. Don't wait for somebody from the outside to come in and make the changes for you. Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing your thoughts and ideas on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.